Bank drive through window. Me. In Italian. I'd like to make a deposit. Bank teller. Hey, buddy, wait, I remember you. Me. Frantically pouring marinara sauce into the vacuum tube. God damn it, it's him again! Welcome back, you lovely degenerates. Time for some suspiciously specific with a little bit of oddly specific sprinkled in. Anyways, let's get on with it. Hey, so those SpaceX lads aren't due back for a while. That's, uh... That's plenty of time for everyone to buy a gorilla suit and learn to ride a horse. Alright, so hear me out. So it turns out a squirrel would need to file about 4,800 miles in order to die. Because that would give it time to starve to death because they can survive terminal velocity. Rachel, I am begging you. It is 2.30 in the morning! How would history change if there was a giant disembodied hand that zooms around the planet and crushes one random person with its index finger every day? It's called the hand, and it's always slightly faster than you. British cooking shows. Tell us about this wee tart you made. The crust is just lovely. American cooking shows. We replaced your knife, Phillips had screwdrivers, and released raccoons into the kitchen. The clock is set for 30 seconds. Please bake us peace in the Middle East. You wake up. You're still a lizard, sunning on a red rock. It was all a dream. The concept of selling feet pics to pay back student loans is already losing its meaning as you open and lick your own eyeballs to moisten them. Time to eat a bug. Y'all remember when you thought your parents saying, I'll give you something to cry about, meant they were gonna hit you, but, but instead they gave you several mental illnesses that haunt you for life? Doubt stalked by giant 2 meter tall, 95 kilo kangaroo with a torn ear who emerges from the bushes to terrorize dog walkers and golfers. He <laughs> just looks so ominous, just staring in front of the path, just <laughs> ready to beat the shit out of you. Dog owner culture. Dog owner culture is. Okay, well. Why sec I can't fing breathe, give me a <coughs> Dog owner culture is chasing your six month old husky puppy around the yard in the dark in your underwear for twenty five minutes because she stole an avocado from the kitchen counter and you're afraid she'll choke in the pit. <laughs> Alright, so if you're gonna do a gender reveal party, don't play coy with the colored smoke or whatever. When you blow up that cake, I expect to see a giant sign saying, It's a penis! Showers of dicks raining down like confetti. You invited us here to celebrate genitals, Karen. You wanted this. Gorillas don't know any bodybuilding techniques, so we've probably never seen one of their full strength. Just saying. You know, it's, it's more terrifying to think that a gorilla could rip your arms off and use them to forcibly penetrate you through both ends and have your disembodied hands high-five in your upper intestine. <laughs> At a fraction of its full strength. Okay, okay, so, like... <sighs> Never ask your teenager how you look today unless you're prepared for them to say shit like, You look Amish. Or, You look like you sell essential oils and don't vaccinate your kids. Like, Like, wow! Th thanks. Uh, I miss the old days when a Karen was just the woman who flushed all our cocaine down the toilet, Karen! Why did you do that, Karen? That was worth $60,000! That was all the money we had, Karen! Why did you do that?! Why? Oh my god! Oh my god! Sometimes I just ignore a non-hate because there's a proverb I learned in a Nigerian movie that said, You cannot run naked after a madman in the street after he has taken your clothes away from you because the public will not know who is the mad person between the two of you. You know, I... Okay, I feel like this proverb was based on first-hand experience. Sees two naked men running down the street? Maybe it should be a proverb. Come on, uncle! So, last night, Corona led me down a YouTube rabbit hole, and I ended up watching a video of an Australian cheesemaker making Parmesan. He starts his videos by saying, G'day, cared nerds! And all the comments are just Italians telling him to go f himself. Restaurant. Raccoon. In trench coat. One. Egg. Waiter. 
One egg. Suspicious. You're not from around here, are you? Two. Two eggs? Aha, uh -huh, yes, that, that's a normal quantity of eggs. Raccoon, excitedly, five eggs! Hmm. Soap for social anxiety. It smells like a list of pre-planned excuses. Are you kidding me? I really did break my glass eye and set the water bed on fire. Me, explaining that if you run bottom shelf vodka through a Brita filter, it'll taste almost like upper mid shelf vodka. I, my therapist hoping I'll die soon. Never ask a woman her age. Amanda, to get her fucking life together. No, seriously, Amanda, get your fucking life together. Just divorce Paul, I'm sick of hearing you argue every night. And no, I don't care that your son graduated a year before me. No one does. Me, has the happiest, most enchanting experience of my life. My brain. Nothing. Also me, shit myself at Olive Garden. My brain, a core memory. R slash ask Reddit. What is something everyone can agree is a dick move? Probably like randomly switching two newborn babies at a hospital so they're raised by the wrong parents. Just saying. So, one night with me? Or the PS5? You know, the PS5 won't stand me up on our anniversary when we had reservations for over a month and you claim you were at work late and couldn't answer your phone because it died even though all my messages got delivered, to then find out on Snapchat you were actually at Top Golf with your ex. You know, I could have whooped Ted Bundy's ass. I muttered to myself from under my three layers of blankets as I shoved my fifth consecutive mega stuffed Oreo in my mouth and readjust my beanie hat, which has teddy bear ears on it. I take a sip of sleepy time tea, but it's too hot, so I gently blow on it. Thrash metal drummer awakens from coronavirus coma. Doesn't think Satan is that cool anymore. Will Carroll of Death Angel says, I don't think Satan's quite as cool as I used to. I'm sorry, but like out of context, this is really fucking funny. I'm just gonna assume that he went to hell, met Satan, and realized the guy was just a fucking loser. Okay, but like, that, 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 that's literally what happened though. When he was in the coma, he had a near-death experience where he went to hell and found out Satan looked like a Jabba the Hutt-esque monster who vomited blood all over him for being too lazy. I am not making this up. And then he woke up and he was like, you know, satanic metal is still a banger, but like, that guy sucks. Your mom gets a new boyfriend. Panic. He's a gamer. Calm. He's the guy who beat you at Halo 12 years ago when he said he's gonna f your mom. Panic! Man, you know, just like hanging out with old people rules because after a while they trust you enough to confess to murder totally unprompted. But, wait, what? Yeah, just like sometimes old ladies had to kick the ladder out from under their stepfathers when they were girls and like, you know, that's valid. I sit blindfolded. A woman in a lab coat feeds me a Twix. Left. She marks her notes. 329 consecutive correct guesses. M me S switching lanes to a lane that merges into the lane I, I, I just switched from. Just <laughs> Made this mistake a couple of times. You just, you know, you merge over, not familiar with the area, and then the road just bridges you right back in. <laughs> <laughs> just kind of a big oof moment. Being a head actress must be like so weird. Just, just imagine this. You're in a soundproof room, pleasurably screaming into an 800,000 yen microphone about how much you love old man dick at 10.47 a.m. on a Tuesday in October while your 45-year-old boss oversees you through a glass window from the other room. You eventually look up after two hours of practicing your unnaturally high-pitched moans and see him giving you a big thumbs up as you pretend to have an orgasm. Some people have resting bitch face. Adam Driver, on the other hand, has resting professor of theology listening to his students present a report on religious symbolism and medieval art that they copied off of Wikipedia face. It does, it does have a hint of disappointment to it. Perks of wearing a mask that don't involve health. Men don't tell you to smile. You can pretend not to recognize people you know. No one can see you mouthing the ancient forest witch's curse that turns people into stone. When a man tells me he's looking for a 
real woman, I, I scurry away because I'm actually three owls in a raincoat, and he mustn't find out! God damn it, okay, so like every time I think I've met like a perfect girl, it's three raccoons in a trench coat who robbed me again! Every time! Is it a coincidence that they're posted so close to each other? I think not! Gen Z will drink one medium caramel latte, not eat a single thing till 4 p.m., verbally abuse a racist, crack a joke about their mental health, and pick up a tear gas canister with their bare hands, but then get nervous when they have to call to make a doctor's appointment. When you put a nicotine patch on him every night when he sleeps with you so he has withdrawals when you're not together and he becomes addicted to hanging out with you? Jesus Christ. r slash ask reddit in a human voice. What is the worst place to be caught jerking off? Okay. Not that this happened to me, but, but coming home and jerking off in the living room while, while there's a bunch of guests hiding, hiding out behind the curtains and shit because they wanted to wish you a surprise birthday party. Surprise! <laughs> Student. Like, I, I just don't understand why my grade was so low. How did I do on my research paper? Teacher. Actually, you didn't turn in a research paper, you turned in a random assemblage of sentences. In fact, the sentences you apparently kidnapped in the dead of night and forced into this violent and arbitrary plan of yours clearly seem to be placed on the pages against their will. Reading your paper was like watching unfamiliar, uncomfortable people interacting at a cocktail party that no one wanted to attend in the first place. You didn't submit a research paper, you submitted a hostage situation. Chester Fritz Library. Wanted. Someone to climb into this hole in the library for us. Job requirements. Limber. Trusting. Has not read The Cask of Amontillado by Edgar Allan Poe. That one's very important. I mean, you gotta repair the foundation somehow, am I right? You know, the BDSM community should get in on the protests. If hordes of leather-clad people charging into rubber bullets yelling, Hide her, daddy! Doesn't unnerve the police? I... Nothing will. Don't worry guys, this is not my wife. Completely not, just disregard. It's an Idaho plate, what the hell? Wait, I recognize this part of the highway, what the hell? Man, you know, I realized like 10 years too late, you can, you can probably f*** one of these. <laughs> no, 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 you, you can't. The inside layer is too tight, so when you move the outside with your hand, the inside doesn't move. Or, or like, I, I mean, or like, so I'm told. I, I wouldn't, I wouldn't actually do that. Can we go to heaven with tattoos? No. People with tattoos will not go to heaven. People who drink alcohol will not go to heaven. People who eat too much pork will also not go to heaven. And short people will not go to heaven. They're too close to hell. Hey, welcome to the outro, you lovely degenerates. Um, you should know what to do. You've been on this website long enough. So, yeah, 500k is creeping up real soon. That means Mini Oz gets his special. That's fun to work on. And I got a gaming channel where I'm doing streams. So, woo!